Every year, deep in the heart of the American West, the world's most rugged men from Germany, Hong Kong, the U.S., the Philippines, Indonesia, Belgium, and Malaysia gather for the adventure of a lifetime in the Marlboro Adventure Team event. In 1995, once again, Malaysia's finest men qualified for this 2,400-mile adventure through the three most rugged states of the American West. Our first stop was at Salt Lake City, Utah. From Salt Lake City, we headed for the next destination, Moab, Utah. In the state of Utah itself, there are five national parks like this, each of which can be as vast as the total land area of some Malaysian states. The tall spires and rock arches here are sculpted by millions of years of wind, sand, and water erosion. Summer heat in this rocky desert region reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit at ground level, then dips below freezing at night. Again, I would like to be a warm welcome in the Marlboro Adventure Team Camp. The challenge no 4x4 enthusiast should ever miss is the slick rock area, where Jeep trails can be so steep, as you go up, all you can see is your Jeep's hood and the sky. This place is a land where road is an alien word. So one has to get well acquainted with the preferred mode of transport, the dirt bike, the 4x4, the mountain bike. Stationed at base camp were experienced instructors to show us how to maintain maximum control over our vehicles, a skill indispensable in this country. Sleeping under the western skies, accommodation in Moab was truly more than five star. Rest was very important for the Marlboro Adventure team that night, for the next day's challenge would be Poison Spider Mesa, featuring rock climbing, a new event for the Marlboro Adventure team. After a thorough check of the 4x4s, we set off. to discover the route was tougher than any of us could have ever imagined. The landscape was just millions of miles of solid, rocky desert. A challenge even for the toughest 4x4 enthusiast. But little did we know that greater challenges awaited at Poison Spider Mesa. Here, every precaution had to be taken. For a slip of a few inches could mean a straight fall hundreds of feet down. to discover that rappelling down, though less strenuous, would be just as exciting as going up.
The next day's adventure continued with off-road biking, a journey that was even more challenging than all biking events experienced by Marlboro Adventure teams of previous years. Because this time, it had to be completed within the specified time and mileage. And that condition was as uncompromising as the landscape itself. were given for the ability to handle different types of terrain. We had to maneuver soft sand. Rock steps, even steep trails with loose rocks and gravel. Fifth day, whitewater rafting day. The destination, Westwater Canyon. With a plateau elevation soaring over 5,000 feet, the canyon itself is solid sandstone and shale, shaped by nature 1.7 billion years ago. The journey seemed altogether quite calm and gentle. Until we hit the rapids. From then on, the action didn't end till after 5 p.m., a good 12 hours after. Once again, teamwork saw us through safely in record time. Day number six, the destination, cowboy country. What you see here are pronghorn antelope, a rare and unusual animal found only in this part of the world. Land of the majestic Rocky Mountains, this region is also home to the bighorn sheep. Only animals like these and the toughest of men can thrive in the harsh cowboy country of Salida, Colorado. 
In true cowboy tradition, our men were outfitted in authentic Western style and had a yeehaw of a time horse playing before we came down to the serious business of getting to know our horses. Seasoned cattlemen showed us some pretty neat stunts, which proved useful during the cattle drive later. While the cattle grazed on the sweet mountain grass, we had a hearty True Blue saddlebag lunch. <music> Memories of Rawhide came flooding back as we rode across the range in a real cattle drive. Man and beast, happily contented, we rode back to the ranch for more lessons on ranching. See these cowboys riding bucking broncos, doing the Pony Express stunts, lassoing cattle and wrestling bull calves. Believe it or not, they are our guys. The 1995 Malaysian contingent have really done Malaysia proud. In fact, the Malaysian team finished as the fittest team for 1995. Everybody home. I thought that Okay. Thus was the glorious finish of the Marlboro Adventure Team 1995. Will the next team finish with flying colors too? Who will even qualify to be at the starting point? Get ready. It could well be you.